Hi, this is Mick Fell Repeat, and today I'm going to be making some electro etched coins out of aluminium because this weekend is the Maker Central in Birmingham, and a lot of people in the Maker community have decided to make coins to swap, uh, especially people in the Fools of the Tools Facebook group. So, hi guys. And uh, sounds like a simple idea, but like all these ideas that come from the community, the subtext is very clearly here. Have a reason to do something you've never done before. And uh, that's exactly why I love all you guys. So, I'm going to uh, take that reason and run with it. And uh, stick around, I'll show you what I got up to. So first things first, I flattened a piece of aluminium stock. Uh, the bar I had was, I think it's 25 mil by five mil. And uh, as you can clearly see, I am no blacksmith. But I got it as flat as I could, and then took it over to the sander. I didn't go mad with the sanding, because uh, most of the surface is gonna come off with the etching anyway. So I just really took the dirt that was off either side of it. Next, I covered each side with some sticky back vinyl. Now, there's a million different ways you can mask off metal for etching. Uh, I learned a load of them by making printed circuit boards. Uh, the most common of which at the time was the toner transfer method. And if you have a laser printer or a photocopier, have a quick search online, because that's a really easy way of doing it. Alternatively, you can use an etch resist pen or even a Sharpie. Uh, I have a CNC laser, so I'm gonna cut the vinyl backing with it and then just take out the, the parts that we don't need. So when it comes to etching, all you really need is a glass jar, a 12 volt power supply and some crocodile clips. Now I have the negative terminal connected to a bolt and the positive onto the piece. I left it in for about an hour, uh, play it by ear. Uh, if you leave it in too long, it undercuts the mask and you lose all the definition. Now it's worth pointing out that the gases that come off this are not particularly nice. So keep it in a well ventilated area. So after that I scraped off the remainder of the mask and took it over to the bandsaw and uh, cut as close as I could around each coin. Then I did some final shaping on the disc sander and uh, after that it was time to polish. Now for polishing, I've made a small parts tumbler, uh, which is literally just a metal can that spins around with uh, a motor underneath it. Now, obviously you could just polish these by hand, use the buffing wheel, a million different ways to polish it, but because I'm kind of making as many as I am, I thought this would be a good idea. So uh, I've literally just loaded them in there after shaping uh, with some plastic media, as they call it, which in my case is uh, lots and lots of pieces of chopped up PLA filament for my 3D printer um, and I just left it in there for about two hours just gently rolling over and uh, in the end they turned out quite nice. So that's all for this video. Uh, like I say, I will be at Maker Central this weekend, so if you see me floating around, feel free to ambush me. You never know, you might just get yourself a coin. 
Uh, there's probably boxes and such coming up for you to click on, especially the subscribe one one right about there. Thank you. And uh, like I say, that's me for now. So, see you later. Thank you.